Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to add extensions or add-ons to your Microsoft Edge browser in Windows 10. Now as most of us are probably aware, Internet Explorer was never really well known for its support of add-ons and web extensions. Well, with the release of Windows 10 and Microsoft's next generation browser, um, they're aiming to focus more on the compatibility with new extensions and add-ons. So they have a developer's website with some add-ons they've already started working on. This is not a finalized list, but they definitely have a pretty extensive list to start with. At least a lot better than what we had with Internet Explorer. So I'm going to navigate over to this website. So I'm going to paste in this link. I will have a link to this website in the description of this video. So as we can see here, customize Microsoft Edge with extensions. It's nearly an identical process to Firefox and Google Chrome. So if you just start scrolling down here, you can see there's a bunch of extensions already included on here. Um, some might look very familiar, like Office Online, LastPass, Adblock, and also a few other ones. You have Microsoft Translator. Now, there's not a tremendous amount currently on this list. However, we are starting to see that more mainstream extensions have been added. So for example, if I want to add Amazon Assist onto the Microsoft Edge browser, I'm going to just left click on this little install button. So it's very similar to Google Chrome's extension store or Firefox add-ons. You have ratings and reviews for the app underneath on this page if you scroll down. However, since I'm not using the most up-to-date version of Windows 10, it's not letting me install this app. However, all I'd have to do at this point would just be to left click on this free icon if it wasn't grayed out. And I would just go ahead and install it and then I get a little pop-up notification up at the top saying that it was successfully installed. Uh, you more than likely would have to restart the browser and then it would be like any other web browser extension. So, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.